Welcome to a brand new episode from Keyboard Hitter. This is Keyboard Hitter online tools tutorial series. So in today's video we are going to talk about gomockingbot.com which is an online website obviously where you can go and create mockups and wireframing for your application and trust me creating mockups for your application is such an important task to do because that is how you transform your ideas into reality and now you do not need to sketch your ideas you do not need to create static pdf or images of your ideas that you have in your mind about the project layout project designing so here is the website where you can go and you can create some interactive or actionable wireframes or mockups for your application so now let's see how this website looks like and what it what this website is giving us okay so here we have a button called try creating wireframes for free so you need to click on this button and once you do that it will open a default template or a layout for you from where you can start your task so basically you will be having a default canvas with some default elements already there so you can either delete them or you can start editing them with your thought process with your ideas for example this is a trial page or this is a template okay now you can remove all this item one by one or you can if you like this framework if you like this template so you can continue your work on this so let's see what are the options we have in this page first of all on the very top we can see it's saying six days left before your temporary project becomes read only to be able to return to your work sign up log into an, log into an, another account so basically it's saying as because the free version so you have total six days of time till then your project will be actionable or interactive so user can actually click on this button and whatever navigation you have written it will work accordingly but after six days your project will become a static image okay so either you can buy a license or before that six days of span appears so you can just copy this project and create a new project so again you will get a six days of span so that is how you can continue your work now let's see what are the options we have in this page first of all on the very left hand side left and bottom corner we have a button called add element if you click on this button it will open a left pane form for you where you have all the elements or components listed these are nothing but looks like html element like link text area button drop down calendar etc etc so you can not genuinely just drag them into the into your page okay you can delete them as well uh, for example I want this drop down so I'll drag it here okay now you have your drop down now you can say for example this is the city drop down so you can type the Kolkata so it will give a look or it will give a feel like this drop down is for city and uh, the first element is Kolkata okay then let's see what is this pages so within your application obviously you will have multiple pages so this drop down is for pay pages that you have within your project so if you create five pages one by one so this page will appear here for example now within this default template i have only two pages one is home and one is another page so from here you can have you can see we have an option called new page plus with a plus icon so we can actually click on this and we can create a new brand new page brand new empty page so we'll click on this icon and we'll uh, give a name as test and we'll hit the enter button so it will open a blank page for us so let's uh, do some uh, let's do some uh, designing stuff so we, uh, we can use this search button here we can drag a link or text better to drag a text and uh, search your product okay for example then we have an input field here as well now you can simply drag this whatever size you want then you can have a button call here you can rename the button as search as well or filter or find you can name it as find so product name you can say then here what we can do we can just uh, 
look for a table here we have a table so we'll use this now you can simply drag this you can see you can actually double click on this table and you can do some uh, designing changes as well background you can change link to page and blah 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 things so now we have a link button here so we have a button here called find now let's uh, drag a link we can name it as home okay now when you will share this template with someone else who is also working on your project now that person will be actually click on this link and to go to the home page so let's see how we can do that you need to double click on this and here you have an option called link to page so you need to click on this you can select the home page okay and then click outside now let's go to the preview here we have a button called preview so now the window you can see this is in edit mode now once you click on this preview it will give you a preview window now here if you click on this home so it will actually bring you to the home page so it's pretty cool you know then what else option we have here we have our account options you can actually do sign out sign up and you can see the pricing account settings new projects you can actually create new project and you can also see all your projects from here here you have a little uh, settings option so you can actually cut this thing from one project and paste it into a different project so that is how you can still continue with this free version then you can actually share the your template with uh, via like uh, you have options here so you can share your project okay and then so these are the options that you can work around and within this add element possibly you will have all the components or all the elements that you need to use within your project most of the elements you'll have here okay so this is a pretty cool website and very useful for creating interactive actionable mock-up or wireframes for your project and this will help the development and designing process for your application your project uh, to go faster and go to a you know correct direction so i recommend uh, to use this site for creating mockups and wireframes for application of our projects so if you have any second thoughts so please share your feedback in the comment section below and please do not forget to like this video if you found this video helpful so please do share as much as you can and i'll bring up a new again a new tutorial in this channel keyboard hitter till then have a good day stay tuned bye bye thank you very much for watching this video